Hello, my name is Jimmy Lama One, and uh, I'm going to tell you guys how to edit like me. Now, you may have noticed in a lot of my videos that I use green screens, such as explosions and such, and um, I you will see this a lot. People will try to make green screen explosions, but they don't really know how. You'll see a lot of them with a lot of opacity uh, missing or added or something, and uh, it doesn't look as good. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. So I'm just going to add some random footage. I'm just going to add uh, some old Left 4 Dead 2... Xbox, Jesus, this is old. All right, make sure you always have your audio leveled. First, you're gonna to wanna to put your green screen in there. I'm gonna use fire first, and I'm gonna use explosions first. So, who's see, uh, the best green screen. That's it, not even really the name. Yeah, uh, to the people that make these green screens, do not put your intro there. It is useless to do so. It's a waste of my time, and I have to go through a lot of editing to do it. So, it's not gonna show up in the video. I'm gonna cut it out because it would look terrible if I had it in there. Now that I got that mini ran out, just split out the stupid intro that's not necessary because I don't give you a download link, they give you a place for some stupid. And now we have a green screen. Now you can hear the audio from here, so I'm just gonna turn that down because I was actually kinda loud. Now, as you can see, uh, you can't really see anything, so what do you do for that? Click on the little video, go to visual properties, and remove a color. Now click this, click that, select here, and choose this. Now let's watch it. Lots of green here. Now a lot of people will just turn the uh, tolerance down and then you get this. So a lot of people are like, okay, well, that doesn't look right, so let's go for softness. But they can never really get rid of the color. Now here's how you fix it. Get it to as low as you can without missing opacity or without it looking bad. So right around here looks good. Now go to colorize and set the color to something like red. Now you can set the color amount to whatever you want. I'm just gonna, I always set it to like the max, but as you can see we got rubble here, so I'm just gonna kinda lower it down till I don't really see any green. Now let's watch through. As you can see, the green has now disappeared. So now you know how to do it. Of course, the original color will not be there, but it does help. But you can kinda, you can probably fidelo around with this. Uh, orange will still come up with it um, and such like that. Now as you can see, like I said, the opacity is there. Now what do you do if you want this to pretty much take up the screen or to shrink it? Well what I usually do is I just hold control and zoom in and then move it around. Um, if you have something overlapping this, you can grab this little middle part and move it. So I'm going to kind of show you that. So let's put it orange. So now we got them both overlapping each other. Now I just want to touch the explosion. How can I do that? Well, what I used to do is I would just lift this up and then I would move it. But uh, instead, you can just do this. So, you know, I got this. I can't get over it. Click on this. Touch this. Now you can move it around. Increase its size. Move it. Turn it. Move it over here. Alright, now let's watch the finished product. And now that's how you do the, an explosion effect uh, if you want to green screen. If you guys have any more questions how to do things in Camtasia 8, you pretty much know my right way around it entirely, so go ahead and ask. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon in the next part. See ya!